Hello everyone, Max with Avon Website Pro here and today, today we are going to learn how to back up our Windows 10 files and folders two different ways. Number one, we're going to use an external hard drive to back them up. You can also back them up on a flash drive or something of that nature that's connected to your computer physically. Or you can also back up your computer in the cloud and that's uh, another way that you can do it and you can do it for free and I'm going to show you that at the end of this video. Alright, so number one, Make sure that you have some type of uh, backup drive, all right? Now, if you click on the link in this post, you can scroll down, and there's some fantastic deals on eBay for this. And I'll show you the one that I actually have that I'm using for this tutorial right now is this right here, Seagate Backup Plus. Look, it's only $47. And... Uh, you know, you get four terabytes of external hard drive. So it's a it's a great little uh, thing to use. It's not really big, so it's good for my laptops. And I could take it and plug it in anywhere that I go. Okay, so you could click on that link and get to this page and see all of these different uh, external drives. But that's the one that I'm using for this uh, tutorial. And uh, I'll have the link in the description of this video. So now, to, to get to your backups, what you'll come down here to the little search bar and type in backup. And you'll see this thing that says backup settings. All right, you want to click on this, and this is going to open a new window. The first thing that you're going to see is this backup up here, and then backup using file history. So you're going to back up your files to another drive, and then restore them if the originals are lost or damaged or deleted. Okay, so this particular drive here, this is the external drive that we were just talking about that you'll get from eBay, Walmart, or some other store. And you'll physically plug this into your computer. After you plug that into your computer, you'll click this little plus sign where it says add a drive. And it'll scan the different drives that are plugged into your computer. Now I have a removable disk in drive E. And that gives me 14.4 gigabytes. And I got 13.7 free. All right. Here's one in uh, drive D where I got 1.7 gigabytes free and 1.83 gigabytes of space on it. So these are two flash drives that I have. But then look at this. I have 3.1 terabytes of free space of my 3.63 terabyte hard drive. And they just call this four terabytes. Don't ask me why. I believe that there's stuff on there already when you purchase it. But anyway, that's in drive F. And I'm going to click on this one and select it. And you'll see that it automatically turns up my turns on my files to back them up. But we're not actually done because we want to know what files or the program wants to know what files you want to back up. Now, you don't have to back up cached files or temporary files or anything like that. You can if you like, but I just don't see why it's necessary. So we'll click here to more options, and we see that we have backup options listed at the top, and this will give us an overview. The current size of our backup, we can see here that it's zero bytes because we have nothing backed up yet. The total space on the F drive is 3.63 terabytes, and we got 3.1 terabytes of available space. We see here the, that it's not backed up yet. But if we click this button, we could back it up now, but I don't suggest this until you follow what we're about to do. Now, this, this next option here, we can back up your files. You can back them up every hour. That's the default. But, you know, if you're a heavy writer and you're, you're writing a lot of stuff, you know, for example, maybe you're using LibreOffice and, you know, every 10 minutes you, you might want, want, because you can type a lot of information every 10 minutes and you can have this back up your files every 10 minutes. But if you're kind of more relaxed, you can do it every hour. That's the default setting. Or if you're, you know, if you're not on your computer that much, you know, you could do it every, you know, you could do it every day, uh, you know, daily. So it's up to you how often you want it to be backed up and every person is a little bit different. So now you would, this next option, keep my backups forever is the default. This means that it will never overwrite 
any of your older files that are on your uh, external drive. Okay, it's going to keep those files forever and ever. Excuse me. All right. Now, the other options that you have is until space is needed. And what this means is that it'll continue to back up and back up and back up. And once it's completely full, once that external drive is completely full, you got four terabytes, then it's going to go back and it's going to start overwriting them old files. Okay. And it's going to put the new files in. Now, the one thing, the, the, the other thing that you, that you can do is like every month you might want to generate a new backup and have it overwrite the old files that are on there. That's what this one month setting would be. It'll back up everything for a month and then everything that is time stamped a month ago will start to get overwritten with the new files, the new backup. Okay. Now you could do this every three months, six months, nine months, one year, two years. Okay. Now, all these options from here to here will overwrite old files on your external drive. The forever, the default, means that it will never be um, overwritten. Okay? The, uh, the old files will never be overwritten. So you want to keep your backups uh, forever. And I recommend this whenever you're first starting out. Until you get a general feel of what I just explained. Because sometimes it's kind of hard to grasp that it's going to overwrite the old files eventually. Okay. Now down here, back up these folders where it says this. You could add folders that you would want backed up. Okay. So for example, uh, let's say that we want another folder that, that's not listed there. And uh, maybe the podcast folder. Okay. So up here, if you see C users, max music podcast, maybe I want this to be backed up. So I'll click choose the folder. And once I click choose the folder, you could see now that my podcast folder is going to be backed up. Now I don't play any games, so it wouldn't really matter if I removed this, but I'm just going to show you how to remove a folder. If you click on something that's already there, and select remove it will remove that folder now you can see that the games folder is no longer there okay and then a lot of times you don't want to get redundant so you know if your um, if your downloads and your documents and all that stuff is on your desktop what you want to do is remove the desktop or just remove your downloads and documents uh, folder but for right now I'm just going to leave it like that now these are the cache folders that I were that I that I was talking to you about earlier. You really don't need these, you know. They're they're basically to make your computer run faster. But if you uh, if you need to restore them or anything like that, a new cache will be generated. So I recommend removing all these temporary folders. See this dot atom? These are temporary temporary files that I use in my atom program. Generally, you just don't need those temporary files, okay? They're hidden files. With the, with the, when, when they have a dot in front of them, they're hidden files. Okay? And here, if I wanted to make sure that I was excluding certain folders, so for example, if up here I have, um, if I'm doing my desktop, and in my desktop I have some folders, I can add a folder. I could go to my desktop, and I could say, well, you know what? I don't want you to back up this Tor browser folder that I have. And I could click choose folder. And it'll add that to my excluded folders to make sure that it'll back up everything on my desktop except that Tor browser folder. Okay, if that makes sense. Now, let's say that you've been using the drive, that external drive for a while, and you're ready to change it out or maybe you're going to plug it into a different port. You want to select stop using drive and then repeat the uh, the steps above. You know, the one, uh, as far as selecting a drive. Okay. Uh, this uh, advanced setting is really not an advanced setting. It's basically a rehash of whatever we, of what we just went over. If you click on it, it brings up another um, uh, window here. And where it has your file history is turned on it let you know where you're backing everything up from okay and you can stop it here or turn it off okay and this just stops your backups 
Okay, and then finally, if you needed to restore, you know, let's say that this has been running for a while and you ne needed to uh, restore your uh, backup file, you'll click this, Restore Files from a Current Backup. Now, right now, I don't have any uh, backups. So, on this uh, drive, so this will not show me uh, any backups that I have on there, okay? Because I just haven't backed up this computer this way i usually back mine up in the cloud and that's what i want to show you next so if you're on this particular page at uh, a1 website pro there's a link in the description below you'll click on the next page and if you scroll down here backing up your computer for free in the cloud with google i wrote this in 2018 but i just went over the instructions for it and it is still current i mean it it, nothing is pretty nothing has changed basically you'll go to this uh, Google Drive download let me see if I can find the link real quick on here right here Google Drive download and you'll download uh, this right here for individuals now if you're a team you know if you're setting up for a team you go right here but you'll download this little program and then you'll uh, select what si files that you want to sync with google drive and what you know from your computer to google drive and then from google drive to your uh computer but i laid everything out in detail here so you could check it out and uh, i think that you'll find that this is a pretty good option for backing up your computer and that keeps all of your files and folders available anywhere that you travel but uh the other one where you're physically backing up uh to a uh, drive you know, it's a it's a little bit uh, faster. I think it's uh, it's nice just to have a hard copy of it. So I I kind of do a little bit both ways. That's why I have the external drive, but I actually select what I I want to back up and I drag and drop it onto the thing as often as I want. All right, this is Max with A1 Website Pro. I hope this tutorial has been informative. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to contact me or contact or, or uh, make a comment below. And I will see you in the next tutorial.